When it comes to displaying and using text on one of your user forms, there are two controls that come in useful. One is the label that allows you to output text or labels onto your user form. And the other is a text box. This allows you to gather information from your users. So in the form template, which is where we have our code and form ready, if we want to add a label, it's this big A here. We select label, click and drag. Now the label, just like all the other controls, has a name, which is the name you use when you want to programmatically access its value or change it, like make it visible or not visible. So I'm going to call that label test. We have an auto size value that can be changed to true. So that if when you're assigning a value to it, the box effectively doesn't become big enough, it will resize to fit. We can change the style and the color just as we've done on other controls. So you can change the font, the four color, etc. We can change its caption both here in the properties and using VBA code. So the caption effectively is what appears on the screen. This is where we can give people instructions. Let's put type your name. And one very useful value, certainly for a label, if not just for all of our controls, is the visible option, which can be true or false. You can place a control on the form, make it invisible, but then through your VBA, turn that value into visible. So for the moment, we'll leave type your name as a visible label. Doesn't need to be that large. Now the text box, which is AB, comes across, click and drag, is a box that people can type into. So again, just like the other controls, we give it a sensible name that we can access programmatically. So I'm going to call mine TXT name. We can assign a control source. So that would be the cell reference that would equal the value of the form. So if a value is typed into that cell on the Excel sheet, it would appear in the form. If a value is typed into the text box on your form, it will then appear on the sheet. And again, like most of the other properties, we can change the font, the size, etc. So let's see what that looks like. We have type your name, which is effectively a label. And then people type their name in. Now we have nothing assigned to the OK as yet. That just closes the form. Now if we want to access the value of what they're typing in, because obviously that's what you're after, then we are going to access the value property for this control. So this control is called txt name. What we'd like to do is effectively say welcome to whatever their name is. So we can use a message box, welcome, and we will concatenate on txt name dot value. So that's the control name, that's the value, whatever's typed in the control, and we're going to output a message box when they click the OK button. So we go back to the form. Run the form, type your name, Guy, OK, welcome Guy. And then our OK button closes the form because of the code we have behind here. So we can access the value of whatever they're typing into us and then do something with it. We can check if it's a numeric value, we can assign it to a range, etc., etc. The choice really is down to us. Now we can assign values using the VBA to both text boxes and to labels. It's just a different property. For the text box, it's dot value. For the label, it's dot caption. So if on our form, we were to actually put another label here, so that's an A. I'm going to give that a sensible name of txt reply. Now I'm actually going to change its property of visible to false. So this new label that I've added is actually not visible. And what I want to happen when we click OK now is for it to take the person's name and in here, right, welcome, whatever their name is. But I will need to also change its visibility to true. Because if I run this at the moment, you'll see it's not there, there's nothing there. Behind the OK button, instead of doing the message box, instead of unloading the form, I'm going to set the value of txt a reply. Now it's caption because it's a label as opposed to a text box, equal to, txt name dot value and but that's not enough I also need to make sure that that box is now visible txt reply dot visible equals true 
do it back to the form, run the form. So if I now type my name and pretend I'm called Fred, when I click OK, it assigns the value of Freddy's in the room to the label here and makes that label visible. So we can dynamically set the values of labels as well as text boxes. Think of the label as a way of you interacting with your user and the text box a way of the user interacting with you. And together, they work well together.